hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x and y if we have x square minus y square equals to 9 and we solve this problem for all the positive integer values of x and y okay here you remember one thing is that uh, we solve this problem for only positive integer values okay uh, so uh, if you see in the left hand side uh, this is very famous algebra like formula uh, so we uh, write x square minus y square as x minus y times of uh, x plus y and this whole equation is equals to 9 and now you see here in the left hand side we have these are the two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so here we need uh, to find uh, the possible possibilities in which the product of two positive integers becomes 9 so we have the possibilities are 1 multiplied by 9 is equals to 9 and 9 multiplied by uh, 1 is also equals to positive 9 and 3 multiplied by 3 is also equals to 9 so we have these are the three possibilities but if you make the relation between these two factors so we uh, write it as we know about that x minus y is always less than or equals to x plus y so here um, we choose these possibilities according to this relation and now you see here our first factor is always less than or equals to the second factor okay so if you see here one is always less than nine so that we choose this pair and this nine is greater than one uh, so we rejected this pair and here uh, three is equals to three so we accept this pair so here we have uh, there are two possibilities uh, this and this so that now we convert this equation into the two cases so that here we write our the case number one and in the first case uh, we compare these two factors with 1 and 9 and we write it as x minus y is equals to 1 and x plus y is equals to 9. So this is the, our first case and here we write our second case. Uh, so our second case is that uh, we again compare both of these two factors with these two values. Okay so after comparing these values our second case becomes x minus y is equals to 3 and x plus y is also equals to 3 so here we need to solve these two cases and we easily get uh, the values of x and y so here first we focus on case number one so that uh, case number one is implies that so we copy down both of these two equations here it is x minus y equals to 1 and x plus y equals to 9 and here uh, we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 so here for the positive integer values of x and y we first add equation number 1 and equation number 2 so when you add these two equations we get this is x plus x becomes 2x this is negative and positive term are cancelled out by each other and we get 1 plus 9 becomes here 10 so this implies that now here we need uh, to find the value of x so that's why we divide both of the sides by 2 these two and these two are cancelled out by each other this is 2 times of 5 becomes 10 and here we easily get the value of uh, x is equals to 5 so here we get the value of x is equals to 5 and now we move towards our uh, equation number 2 uh, so here we put this value of x in equation number 2 and equation number 2 is implies that this is equation number 2 x plus y equals 9 we put this value here and it will becomes 5 plus y is equals to 9 okay and now here we need more simplifications and we easily get the value of y so here we move this 5 to the right hand side and we get y is equals to 9 minus 5 and we easily get the y, value of y is equals to 4 okay 9 minus 5 becomes 4 so these are the two values 
All right, so these are the first solution of the given equation. Uh, so we write it here x, y is equal to 5 and 4. You see here uh, this solution is belongs to the positive integer. Okay, but here uh, its verification is uh, needed. But now first we uh, find the other roots from our second case. So uh, here uh, second case is implies that we need to copy down both of these two equations from second case uh, and these equations are x minus y equals to 3 and x plus y is also equals to 3 and we call this is our equation number 3 and this is our equation number 4. So here we need to solve these two equations and we get um, the uh, second solution set from here if possible. Uh, so now first we need to sum up equation number 3 and equation number 4. So when we add both of these two equations it will be written as this is negative and positive are gone and we get x plus x becomes 2x is equals to 3 plus 3 becomes here 6 and now for the values of x we divide both of the sides by 2 so this 2 and 2 are gone and here you have 2 times 3 becomes 6 and here we easily get the uh, first value of x is equals to 3 and now we put this value of x in equation number 4 so that our equation number 4 is implies that x plus y equals to 3 this is our equation number 4 and here uh, we need to substitute the value of x in this equation so when we put the value of x here it will becomes uh, 3 plus y is equals to 3 and we have the value of y is equals to 3 minus 3 this will becomes y equals to 0 okay so that our uh, second root of the given equation r x y is equals to 3 and 0 okay so here uh, we have there are two roots of the given equation in which the one root is x y 3 0 and the second root which we get here from first case is uh, x y is 5 and 4 okay so here uh, we need to verify that is both of these two roots are solution or both of these two roots are extraneous roots so for verification we need to copy down given question statement here it is x square minus y square equals to 9 and here first we verify our uh, solutions at x y is equals to 3 and 0 okay it means that we put uh, the value of x is equals to 3 and y equals to 0 into the given equation and it will becomes 3 square minus 0 square equals to 9 and here you clearly see that 9 equals to 9 this means that first solution is satisfied our given equation and now we uh, verify the second root uh, so that our second root is x y equals to 5 and 4 and um, now we put this value into the given equation and we check its behavior it will becomes 5 square minus 4 square equals to 9 or not 5 square becomes 25 and 4 square becomes 9 and here you see that clearly 9 equals to 9 this shows that the second value of x y is also satisfied our given question statement so both of these two values are satisfied our given question statement so finally we have the solution set of the given question is 3 0 and 5 4 this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos